Hi, I'm Kate James, proud Wadarong woman. We're here today at my exhibition, Keep Hanging Sats Dry at Bagunga Najing. My current work focuses on Aboriginal calendar tea towels from the 70s and 80s that I embroider and punch needle to um, change the narrative um, using pop culture references, uh, autobiographical references, um, just to tell a story. In this work, I was kind of looking at the idea of um, the current process of a Victorian treaty and how complicated it is. Um, and I didn't want to kind of um, generalise it or make it um, a joke or anything like that. But I was sort of thinking about ways of which, you know, we're all going to be able to come together and agree on one treaty as um, all the mobs in Victoria. And I was sort of thinking about it as a off the shelf treaty. So we go to the supermarket and you buy a treaty um, and then you customise it how you want it for each, each mob. Um, but it, it is that um, the idea of also, you know, I was eating twisties at the time and I did think, you know, life pretty shitty without a treaty. And, and you know, it has been for such a long time for all Australian mobs. Um, Man Eater is actually a newer work and it's um, in reference to, I recently read the William Buckley memoir. Um, and in it, he, um, William Buckley was um, a convict that came on as part of the Collins settlement, uh, which was the first settlement in Victoria. And um, they landed around and settled around the area of um, what's now called Sorrento. And he escaped um, and then walked the entire length of the bay and ended up with um, Wellerong people and spent 30 years um, being saved. Basically, he would have starved to death otherwise. Um, but it was interesting, his uh, relation um, and his thoughts towards Wadarong people, um, which are my ancestors. And um, I, you know, don't love this man. Um, and quite a few of the works are now referencing Buckley. Uh, Lucky Country um, references him as um, Buckley's Chance, is, um, which was a very common or well-known saying. Um, but Maneater, he uh, writes about how we were cannibals um, and a lot of the stuff that he writes about is, isn't true and has, um, you know, a lot of the language is wrong and a lot of the customs he talks about are incorrect and I don't know whether or not the cannibalism is true but I kind of wanted to sort of um, uh, look into that a little bit more and as soon as I was kind of reading it my mind sort of goes to um, different references and in this work it um, I'm referencing the Hall and Oates song which is actually from 1982 the same year as the tea towel and the lyrics oh here she comes watch out boy she'll chew you up and I was kind of thinking of myself as being a man eater um, someone that actually <laughs> physically eats someone um, but I mean, there was the, he does reference the fact that we uh, would, if one of our close relatives or children died, we would then uh, take some of their flesh and I'm not sure whether it was eat it, but um, would, would keep it with us. Um, but yeah, it was, it's kind of, it's not something I, I can, um, you know, find out for sure. Um, but it was just an interesting part of the book that, um, that I was reading he yeah he wasn't a very nice man um, and I mean he would uh, ref, uh, um, refer to us as savages and um, he was a misogynist um, every fight or um, every um, you know uh, tribal fight or fights within mobs were all uh, caused by the women apparently um, so it's never a man's fault. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was just, you know, an interesting, he's a very, you know, famous Australian um, and just happened to have lived for 32 years, I think, with, with Wellerong. Lucky Country is another work that also references uh, Buckley. Um, and it's, it's more about how, you know, Australia is referred to the Lucky Country as the Lucky Country, um, but it's not lucky for all of us. Um, and in particular, not lucky for the Indigenous 
people of Australia. Um, you know, with the high incarceration rates, the deaths in custody, uh, things like that. And so I was using uh, the reference of you've got Buckley's, um, as you know, most Indigenous people do have Buckley's chance of, you know, growing old, um, of not being incarcerated, um, you know, having somewhere to, to live, you know, being educated um, and being able to practice their culture um, as they want to practice it. Um, you know, there's also references um, uh, to what's known as the hidden generation, um, where, the, like the stolen generation, uh, the hidden generation um, were hid the fact that they were Aboriginal so they could live in the lucky country, so they could have opportunity and things like that. I'm part of the hidden generation where, you know, my grandmother and would hide the fact that we were Indigenous and, you know, it wasn't until, um, you know, early in my childhood that I, I knew that I was um, Aboriginal.